things preposterous. I never heard such Tommy rotten all my life. My dear Carshot, you must be mad to retire now at the height of your career. I tell you, I'm sick of it. All this absurd adulation from a lot of halfwits just because I can bang out a few notes on the piano. Well, what about the few notes you bang out of their pockets? I'm sick of that, too. It's too easy, like clubbing kittens. For every one person genuinely interested in music, thousands go just because it's a thing. Nonsense. You're a great musician, Carshot. Rot. I'd much sooner be a finalist in the Davis Cup. I want to know how it feels to be a man again. Well, I booked you in Paris for the autumn season. No, not for me. I must go down to the sea again. The sea and lonely sky. Well, why not try a luxury cruise to the West Indies? Why not try a little knitting or sewing? Well, what about Everest? Heights give me vertigo. Exploring? What for? Locating sites for filling stations? <laughs> Look at this silly place. I tell you, the world today is as open as a billiard table. With pockets where stars go when they drop off the news page. By Joe, I've got an idea. Got a penknife? Want to open a vein? No. I'm going to spin that globe slowly. And where the point of this knife sticks, that's where I'm going. Suppose you stick Greenland's icy mountain. I'm gambling on India's coral strand. Oh, well, go ahead. Electric fans or foot warmers. Looks like electric fans. Thursday Island. Thursday Island? Sounds like a place for a long weekend. The effect you have on me, Stella Rath, is to make me wish all sorts of things connected with tropic isles. Is that why you're going to this Thursday Island place? Nose rings and hibiscus trees. Or probably it's the grass skirts. Do you want me to go, Stella? Do you suppose I'm interested? I hoped you might be. I go or stay at your command. Go to your island. You exchange the studio, son, for the real thing. That's all. Oh, now you're laughing at me. Born a man and died a pianist. At least you won't run short of oysters. Or pearls. Do you like pearls, Stella? Real ones, yes. Synthetic pearls are like synthetic men. You can drop and forget them. At least they're cultured. Culture is generally an excuse for men. You'd change your mind. You'd be afraid to be alone with me in a piano. I have a baby grand in my flat. Is that a challenge? If you like. I accept. Then I think I'll walk home. All right. I have a nice top hat that would be proud to be seen with you. I'll meet you downstairs. Right over. Good heavens, what a lot of oysters that lad has eaten. At least he's a man doing a man's work. A fool doing a fish's work. Oh, it's all very well to stand here and make funny remarks about a diver, and then go home to a comfortable bed. All men can't be divers, Stella Rath. But all divers can be men. That's more than can be said of musicians. No, that isn't fair. I'm unarmed. The baby grand? Exactly. Shall we walk, or are you beginning to be afraid? The walk may give you courage. Good night, Diver. Thanks. You don't know what you've done for me. love by playing other men's music. Was I making love to you? Perhaps I was. You are very lovely. It's rather disconcerting to be made love to by a piano. Oh, I don't know. Your diver would probably use a concertina. By Joe, there he is again.
Why this sudden passion for divers, Stella? I've met him, that's all. The diver? No, the artist. Craig Henderson. I've heard of that laddie. Made quite a big success, then suddenly disappeared. Did you know him? Slightly. Have some coffee. No, oh, thanks. Whiskey, then. Marcus is willing. Are you interested in Craig Henderson? I am in his work. And what of my work, Stella? I shall remember it for a little while. What do you want me to do? Come wooing you in a diving suit? We'll spend our honeymoon by the sea. Every now and then you'll hear a splash. It'll be me, diving 20 fathoms deep to bring you up yet another pearl. I should love to have a man dive 20 fathoms to bring me up a pearl. And if I were that man, what then? Then, I might be very kind to you. You're sure it isn't the piano or Liebestrom? No. And you'd marry me? Yes. I know you, Stella. I've met you in old pictures. I've seen you in armor, in silks, in sackcloth. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Are you still set on my bringing you a pearl from the depths of the Indian Ocean? Yes, a big pearl. A really big pearl. I could get one in Regent Street. Might save me a spot of pneumonia. It might also save you a spot of cold feet. Get it with your own hands, Daubney Carshot. Your own hands. Very well. I will. No. No, Stella. Kiss on delivery. For the pearl I bring you will cost you that. And more. Daubney. Well, mine's Bill Craig. Luck, Craig. Cheers. Hello, what's that? Eight-hour day or just people going to work? A uh, funeral. Pretty common sight in these parts. Jap diver. What killed him? Paralysis. Paralysis? Yes, get rich quicks their motto. They stay down too long or they come up too soon. Down too long, up too soon? No salvage. You see, when a diver comes out from the seabed after a deep dive, he has to come up in stages to get rid of the nitrogen bubbles in his blood. Very pleasant to spend 100 feet down for a few hours. Days and nights. Why, last season had to keep a jet diver at 20 fathoms for 48 hours. He's okay today, though. Nice prospect. Pearls of paralysis. Seen McTavish? No, blast you. I blast you with knobs on. Who's that? Well, that's a fellow named Dormer, always looking for McTavish. So I gathered. Uh, they're inseparable. <laughs> Indeed. At least that's the story, but no one's ever seen them together yet. Always looking for each other. Oh, have another. 
Oh, hello, Mendoza. Come and join us. No, thank you, senor. I drink only with my friends. Whiskey straight. You must buy yourself a lot of drinks. Very funny fellow. Perler? Yes, yeah, the second unluckiest on the island. Who's the first? I am. Well, here's the better luck. Oh, thanks. But I don't think there can be a single pearl left. Oh, there's got to be one left. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think the Jap dark get most of them. That's why I do my own diving. Rather a business, senor. One day I find the pearl. I can't help having a sneaking feeling for that poor devil. There's a Chi Chi woman at China Tom's dive. She's in the market. Mendoza thinks that one real pearl will buy her. Funny that. He's dying, boys. Oh, for the love of Mike. Give me a stiff drink. It's awful, boys. Awful. Here, have this be going on with. He's dying, I tell you. Dying. Oh, what struck you, Quid? Who's dying? Quid's dying. Of thirst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, boys. You've saved me life. Yes, and what the deuce do you think you're doing? Come All right, there. Bill. I'm the mug. He produces. This is Captain Quidley, familiarly known as Quid. Quid, this is Daubney, a new chap. Oh, Quid. Sounds suspiciously like kid. Spoof or pirate? Both. <laughs> oh, Daub's a sport. Bit of a doer is Daub. Not the doer, the done. Come on up the room, Bill. Let's have a yarn. Now, if you want to tell me the story of our life, you better come and sit on the top step. Don't sit too long on it, Daub. Celebrations tonight, you know. I'll see to that. Chalk those drinks up to me, Jack. Okay, Mr. Craig. And no more. Right. Bill Craig, do you ken where that misbegotten Sassernak Durmer is? No, McTavish, I don't. Oh. A quid's in there waiting for someone to buy him a drink. Uh, eh? Oh. Thanks for the tip. We'll walk down the road a bit. What's all this about the top step? Well, you see, on Thursday Island, when men feel dreary or romantic, they sit on the top step of their bungalows and yarn, tell the story of their lives. If you want to imply that a fellow's telling a howling lie, you say, come off the top step. Oh, I see. Well, whose step is this? Captain Quid. Let's go and sit in it. Right. Tell me, you, uh, do you seriously think you're going in for pearling? I do. And what's more, I'm going to do my own diving. Are you poor mug, why? Why, well, you poor mug. You do yours. Why? I have my reason. So have I. Well, mine happens to be a good one. So is mine. And I'm still sitting on the top step. Oh, by the way, there's, uh, like to be some raising around town tonight. If you don't go in for that rebel stuff, you'd better lay low. Well, what's it all about? Well, you see, we celebrate Easter because it happens to represent the last of the monsoon season. Visiting times, midnight and after. Fortunately, I live on the top of a hill. They won't visit me. Why not? Too full to climb. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm off to the pub and some food. Oh, and uh, another tip. No white man around here wears a sun helmet after sundown. Oh, thanks. So long. I'll be seeing you. Cheerio. Here, Mr. Jones. It's a wee drink for you. Uh, 
Oh, well, here's to you. Good. Ah. First touch of the Orient. What do I do now, Quid? Your best or your worst. I'm sorry. The best wins. What do you do with this girl, senor? Well, east is east and west is west. What do I do now, Quid? Hit him? Don't wait. Hey, go. Oh, how are we? We can manage this. Are we, boy? Take him outside. Away, him and touch your tutties. And if you should see Dorma, tell him I'm in here. See you, big bully. You. Boys, boys, don't. Let's go a calling, a calling, a calling on my fair maid. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? You laugh at, huh? Well, it's hardly a moment to be serious, is it? Well, this time you laugh on the other side of the face. Where? 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 Hey, here's someone else to turn you, will you? <laughs> well, if you insist. What, if I killed him? Uh, no such luck. Have you seen Oh, what is me? Oh, a great big rough guy he was with a pockmarked face and a khaki jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that finished me. I sell the whole outfit. This bungalow, the lugger, and all the gear. How much do you want for it? Three thousand. Oh, oh, come on, come up your top dip. But for cash, I take one thousand. A thousand pounds. Oh, man, that will buy you about two hundred cases of whiskey. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. How I know this not a dud, eh? She may bounce. Try it on the bank. His credit's okay. Who the hell are you, eh? Well, I'm the laddie with the pockmarked face and the khaki jacket. Great to be a tough guy, huh? <laughs> All right, I take. Kishimuni, Kishimuni. Yeah, boss. You got new skipper, this one. I go. Just a minute, boys. Mendoza's got a thousand of the best. Right. Mendoza says, have a drink. What do you mean? I don't. Are you the cook or the captain bold or the mate of the Nancy Brig? The bosun tight, the midship might, or the crew of the captain's gig? Me, I was tender. Me say a lucker with three others. Him your luck at there. You gone. Oh. This your ship sail. I patch it. Oh, fine. All right, Kishi Muni. I'll see you in the morning. Hello. Who are you? I answer to the name of Jim. Well, Jim, I'm Dobney, a new arrival. Come sit on the top step and tell me how to fish up pearls from the stormy deep. If you promise not to tell me the story of your life. I promise. I just arrived here this morning. 
Already I own this bungalow, a lugger dugong, a diving suit, and a ghastly premonition diver's paralysis is to be my fate. I'm learning quickly. Oh, what have you learned? Well, among other things, the white men of Thursday Island don't go about in sun helmets after dark. I am a living refutation of that statement. I beg your pardon. You are not. How did you know? Your voice and the fact that on this night of celebration you're stone cold sober. Why didn't you go on pretending you thought I was a man? Well, why do you attire yourself in men's clothes for your walks abroad? Women don't walk alone at night on Thursday. Thursday? Oh, <laughs> quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you can tell me all about the girl you love in the approved top step manner. Well, she's wonderful. That's She's the sort of girl that causes other girls to say, well, anyway, my father was Lord Mayor of London, and I speak French better than she does. <laughs> I'm beginning to like you, Father Daubeny. I'm beginning to like, well, this top step step. By the way, uh, you haven't told me your name. You'll find out. Happy Easter to you. Same to you, with pearls on. Oh, one word of advice. There are two people on this island you ought to keep your eye on. Who? Captain Quidley and Mendoza. Well, thanks, I will. But I'll be safe tonight. They're China Toms. Don't be too sure. Well, if it ain't neighbor door. Morning, Cap. What's on your mind, son? Someone has stolen my gypsum. Yes, you know. Something used for propelling ships. You don't happen to have picked it up in mistake for your towel. You think I've got it? Oh, Dorb, you hurt me. Still, I'm of a kindly, forgiving nature. We'll have a drink on it. Just a hair of the dog that bit me. It's, uh... Nice weather we're having, uh, neighbor door. Yes, it is. Daddy, aren't you ashamed of yourself at this hour of the morning and after last night, too? Oh, don't blame me, Lorna. Blame Daub. I brought a bottle, says Daub. Have a drink, says Daub. Then Daub's as bad as you are. Oh, much worse. I've changed since last night. And so have you. Daub's a doer, Lorna. In he comes, I've called for me jib, he says. Poor old Dorp. <laughs> and you refuse to return it? Oh, go on, go on. This is doing me more good than a... Tonic. All right, now we know where we stand. You were right. It was wrong of me to lead your father astray. At least I can make amends. Wine is a mocker, old gentleman. Strong drink is raging. Well, he really is a doer. The captain says we reach Thursday Island tomorrow. What's the attraction, Stella? A man. It's a long time since I've seen a man. Well, I was under the impression that I was one. Because you wear trousers? Partly. Partly because my voice is deep and I've got hairs in my chest. Mm, disgusting. Stella Raff, fallen at last. He must be a superman. He's something I want, and what I want, I usually get. What is he, a Saunders of the River type, service without a smile? He's a great pianist. That will be nice for the neighbors. An idle bit of mine sent him across the world to die for pearls and lay them at my feet. And now suddenly all that doesn't seem to matter. So my digging for rubies in the Ural Mountains doesn't matter. No, I'm going to the man I love. Tomorrow or the next day I shall see him. You have got it bad. Oh, Lord, I've, I've come all over here. Well, if you want me between now and tomorrow, I shall be in the bar. Daddy, you promised me. Oh, I have a heart, Lorna. 
What's the use of a glass this size to a man my size? Daubeny plays rather well, don't you think? Uh, you should have heard a bloke beard on the old Rangatiki. What he couldn't do to a mouth organ. I like to call it myself. What do you say, Dorma? That's Lieberstrom. I've heard it often. My sister in England. In England. <coughs> Excuse me. I promised McTaff. What's eating him? I thought I'd heard all the... Mm, takes you back, doesn't it? I wish he'd stop. That was wonderful. I forgot where I was for the moment. We all did. Someone once asked me if I always made love with another man's music. Were you making love tonight? I don't know. Perhaps it was my swan song. We sail tomorrow, you know. And are you really going to dive? After three weeks' tuition from your father, there are no depths to which I might not sink. <laughs> But, but, Dorb, it's dangerous. Remember, little boys and girls, the oyster manufactures pearls, which shows what grit can do. <laughs> Must you go? Yes, Lorna. You know how the knights of old sought adventure for the love of their ladies? Yes, tilting at windmills. And tomorrow I tilt at an oyster. Oh, Dorb, must you always laugh? Of course. Eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we dive. For the love of the lady? <laughs> what else is worth dying for, Lorna? And if you win, will she reward you? Of course. The poet's crown of laurels, the hero's crown of... Uh... Bays. No, orange blossom. You played that magnificently, Dolph. Tell me, which one of the great masters are you? None of them, my lad. I was inspired. By a lady. Well, uh, he mustn't monopolize the lady the whole evening. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I forgot this is your last evening together. I'll push off. See you tomorrow, Lorna. Well, I only came to say good night, Lorna. Good night. Well. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. I was a bit tired. Well, that's all right. You will look after. Oh, who? Yourself, of course. But you're coming too, aren't you? Oh, yes. I've only been once before. But I'm going to look after Daddy. Oh, I see, and you'll be much too busy to look after anyone else, is that it? Are you sure it's me you're thinking of, Lorna? Now, come on, tell the truth and shame the devil. Well, he is nice, isn't he, Bill? If you think so, he must be. Now, don't worry, he'll be all right. Good night, little one. Good night, Quinn. Good night. Well, little girl, have you enjoyed yourself? Oh, Daddy, why are men so stupid? What's poor old Quid been up to now? 
Oh, it's not you, it's someone else. There's a girl in England. He played for her tonight. So it's Daub, is it? No, of course not. No? How did you guess? Little bird told me. Oh, Daddy, why aren't you a Lord Mayor? And why can't I speak French? What's that? Oh, never mind. Anyway, she can't love him very much. Otherwise, she'd have come out to him, wouldn't she? Who? What's all this about? Oh, Daddy, the girl in England. You sign Kamala, Charlie Kwong? Will I get diver? Hmm. I give you job. You good diver. Want you. You offer me a job? And I own lugger now. I want diver work on shares. Take little money. You sober tomorrow, son up. Too long. you because it suits me. You get that, you yellow-faced bubble. Better you and me friends. Uh. Well, it looks as if they're all here. Oh, Bill Craig's down first. He seems keen on committing suicide. I wonder why. He ain't married. Maybe it's because you turned him down. Bill Craig has never asked me. Why should he? Of course not. Now, if Daub was to stick his neck under the axe... Oh, he thinks I'm fond of Bill Craig. Daub's a doer, but he ain't awake yet. He's awake enough to be working. So that's what I get for sending you south to school, is it? A slave driver. There'll be a few oysters left. Ain't that the hong over there working this bed too? Looks like her. Oh. That means we'll be having Mendoza and Charlie Kwong for neighbors for a couple of days. That will be nice. It'd be just like that fellow to find a pearl on his first day. Whatever he finds should be mined by that. He find nothing here. Tomorrow we move to Tutty Fallum shelf. That fool Clay, he died there. <laughs> Not for long. He kill himself. Very soon. Right. <laughs> you take too many chances, boss. Now you mind your own business. Morning, Dorb. How's tricks? Got to get back to the island. Helmet valve trouble. I'm a fool diver. Forgot to bring spares. Oh, bad luck. There'll be an outgoing mail steamer. Any letters? Oh, yes. Yes, I've got a lot of email for me. There you are. I don't lose it. 
Keep an eye on Bill Craig, will you, Dob? He ain't fit to be diving. All right, Cap. Lorna worried? Hi. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Lorna's worried, all right. I wish he'd find his pearl and we'd all get a little peace of mind. So long. So long. Hello, Chris. Bound for Thursday, Bill. Any mail? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have got a letter. Hang on a sec. Well, that's the last I'll ever write. Oh, cheer up. What luck? Oh, the devil's own. The Lady Lorna Toppy gonna move on. So long. So long, Bill. Don't like the look of Bill Craig, Lorna. He'll get the staggers if he keeps on. He says this letter's the last he'll ever write. I think he's got the wind up. Daddy. Oh, nothing. I've just given birth to an idea. Mother and child are both doing well. Come on, let's go. On deck and get sailing, huh? Got any mail? It closes in half an hour. No. Never write to him. That's my motto. Anybody aboard worth cultivating? There's a dame got off that looks too good to be true. She's up at the pub, taking a sweet for a month. A month? We'll get acquainted. Will you? She is the type that makes the icebox look hot. So long. <laughs> so long. Never seen art ice box. You just lobbed in. Drinking. I say, help yourself to some more breakfast. Yeah. Tell me, my dear old moisture absorber, where are they all? Who? Pearl gatherers. Well, the lady staying here has a date with one of the laddies. Oh, uh, what name? Uh, oh, completely blank, old boy. A name something like uh, shove hate me or carpet beating or something. Uh, tickles the ivories, you know. Dentist? No, 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 no. Pianist. What'd you say the lady's name was? Raff. The Honorable Stella Raff. Stella Raff. Hmm. Well, well, well. <laughs> Scored a bullseye with me the first time I saw her. Do anything for her. Except go to the Ural Mountains and dig for rubies. A bloke has to draw the line somewhere. A bloke has. You going back to the ship? No. I was going to Australia. Going to be a kangaroo on a sheep farm. Governor's idea of turning me into a he-man. You're not going? Stella, dear old sink, Stella. Latin for star. Follow a star, that's me. Follow three stars, it's safer. Why, say, you going? Yeah, back in a week. Well, cheerio, dear old companion. <laughs> Ella moved over to the 30 fathom shelf. You know that idea I was giving birth to a while back? Really, Daddy? Well, it's going to be twins.
thing. Clothes. Skin with big hip money. I'm not going to sell this pearl. It's worth more than money. Let's give it three cheers, boys. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! He find a pearl on my lugger. Take dingy, make sure. Yeah. How goes it, Mendoza? You find something, eh? Well, I saunter around the bed of the ocean with that end in view. You find a pearl. Congratulations, senor. What do you do with him now? I have plans for it. You will no doubt remember that without my aid, you find no pearl. Because I bought your lugger? Very cheap. Suppose I had not sell. Suppose I had not bought. Then you no find a pearl. Your logic is a bit elementary, old boy. I want percentage. Fifty percentage. Half? <laughs> You're too modest. No matter about that. I claim half and I am going to get it. Are you? There's the pearl, Mendoza. Take a good look at it. See this case? Well, that's where it stays until it wants. You think so, eh? Come on, boss! Mendoza beats me to it. Diving suit, quick time. You saw pearl? I saw 10,000 pounds. A pearl in a million, it went over the side. I didn't those things. I want half a share. All right, when I go below, you go aboard Dugong, see? Kill if you have to. Come on. Quick, hurry with these things. Make it snappy with that face glass. Hurry! Uh, you get about you, Gong, see?
Colonel. Four slaves line pilot. Take lines. by the airline. Airline jam. No good anyway, boss. Airline him break. Pull out the helmet, maybe. Then. Yes, he drowned a couple of minutes. No time drown. Face is squash him. Out of same pop. Quick time. I'm going down after him. But you sink. Oh, well. Boss door will be a damn sight sick if I don't. Mendoza signal? This business no good. Charlie Kwong, him my dad. Mendoza, finish. Him dead now. Damn it! Get that up! Good God! Lifeline gone. I think airline fell. Jammed in Coro, maybe. Boss Craig, he down after him. Daddy, they'll both die. How long was Dorp been down? Twenty minutes, maybe. Too long at thirty fathoms. Him no come up soon, him come up dead. Craig will bring him up straight away, that's a cert. Then we'll have to send him down again for slow staging. If Boss Craig come up quick, him get paralysis this time. Him very sick man. Still gonna clear away this foul airline or Dorb's done for. Can't stand that pressure for more than a few minutes longer. some fast thinking now. But, but nothing he can do if he can't get that airline cleared. There's one thing, but it means almost certain death to Craig. He can shut Dorb's inlet and outlet air valve, cut this airline that's fouled, then signal to be hauled up fast, dragging his arms. But Dorb will die as soon as his airline's cut. No, he won't. There'll be enough air left in Dorb's suit to keep him alive for about three minutes. Pull him up, them 
quick. That means he's cleared that line or cut it and he's going to take the chance I said. what I do, boss? Pull him in quick, Kish. But my God, it's murder. No, stop. We can't deliberately kill Bill Craig. You love Dorb, Lorna. Pull! Both lines, swing. That means Craig's made his decision himself. He's closed his own valve and ballooning himself to the surface. Keep us water! with him, and they'll both be out to it when the brakes surface. Get the dinghy quick. Look! That's the gamest thing I've ever seen a man do. We'll keep Craig at 25 fathoms, then stage him up slowly. It's his only chance. And Dorb? As soon as Kishi gets back with the new helmet and airline, we'll send him down again and stage him up too. He's pretty sick, Laura. Oh, Daddy, will he die? Ah, oh, they both got a chance, but Craig's is the slim one. Harry Kishi! Harry! Now all we've got to do is to wait. Which is the hardest thing I know. It's a matter of hours, Lorna. And have been down more than four hours. Leaving them where they are, Lorna, is the only chance we can give them. Try Boss Craig, Kishi. <laughs> Hello, Dorb. Oh. How are you feeling? Pretty rotten, Quit. How's Bill? Sick. Plenty sick. Lorna's with him. The sound of a pearl will do him a lot of good, but that's out. He'll never dive again. Have to get him back to Thursday tomorrow. I owe my life to Bill Craig. I'll say you do. It's a funny thing, Quid. I used to be a bit of a lounge lizard. Couldn't get through the day without a cocktail party. Getting to bed at daylight and all that sort of thing. Then I met a woman. She promised to marry me if I made a man of myself. This pearl was to be proof that I had succeeded. Now, somehow, I don't seem to care it. Listen, Quid. If you breathe a word of what I'm going to do, I'll hang you from your own yardarm. 
Dob, I'll be as dumb as an oyster. Dob's a doer. Dob's a white man. Shake it. Dob's a de fool. Mm. I'll talk to Bill in the morning. You'll be feeling better then. Yeah. I think we'd better separate these ships before we turn in. You move this packet ahead a bit. I'll stay aboard the quest and keep an eye on Bill. Righto. Yeah. Here, take it. You can do the job better than I can. Who the devil's that? What's the secret, Quid? Dorb Olson. London, Paris, and New York rolled into one. It's practically on your doorstep. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm off. Daubney! Hello, Stella. Well, aren't you surprised to see me? No, I knew you were staying at the hotel. And you didn't call in case you found me out? No, I didn't call because I had found you out. <laughs> My dear Daubney, what on earth do you mean? Can't you guess? Guess? Really, darling, this is hardly the reception I expected after having come halfway around the world to see the man I'm engaged to. Which man? Which man? My poor Daubney, you're ill. What is it? Whiskey or sun? Neither. Do you often make this to sun on your victims? What are you talking about? Your engagements. The men you've promised to marry. What lies have you been listening to? I'm engaged to you, Daubney. I admit I was one of the many. But you can count me out of the race, Stella. I scratch. So that's it. You want to get rid of me. I'm afraid you won't find it as simple as all that. If you're wise, you'll go. Not until you've explained. Surely my coming here means something to you, Daubney. The night you went away opened my eyes to the world I was living in. I realized that life meant something more than the flattery of idlers. I love you, Daubney. Oh, stop it. There was a time when talk like that would have turned my head, but not now. Our engagement has ended, Stella. I never want to see you again. I see. There's someone else. There's no one else. Do you think I believe that? Marry her then, whoever she is, and I'll make your name a byword. Don't forget I have your letters. All London shall read them. Let them read mine too, Stella. A comparison should prove interesting. Who are you? Craig Henderson. A rotten trick, isn't it? Coming in like this. But not as rotten as the trick you played on us. What do you mean? Is this a trap? A trap you've set yourself, Stella. And it's sprung the wrong way. I've learnt more than how to gather pearls. Indeed? Yes. That an unfaithful woman trades on the faithfulness of men. A man gets what he deserves. And a woman like you, what you can. There's your pearl. Look in the mirror when you wear it. And see the price of Stella Reff. You don't believe him, do you, dear? He's not a liar, Stella. Or a cheat. And I am. Is that what you mean? What of yourself? What do my friends say? They all know. Paragraphs have appeared about my romantic journey to bring back a husband, the celebrated pianist, Daubney Carshot. There are more fools than I. You can marry one of them before your wedding dress gets out of fashion. There's your pearl. It cost the lives of two men. Four. Fish! Get the chip up. We're going. Where, boss? What do you call that straight line over there? Oh, I son. We'll get the other side of it. Plenty quick time. Let's sail on it. Quick time. Now. 
Where did you spring from? Out of the cabin. You didn't think I was a mermaid, did you? Daddy said you might be feeling depressed. He sent me to help snap you out of it. He told me everything. An amazing man, your father, Lorna. Pure gold. It's not very unusual for a quid. What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're very cheerful for a broken-hearted lover. You know, Lorna, for the past few weeks, I've been pulling my own legs so much that for the rest of my life, I'm going to walk with a limp. Oh, poor old dog. No, oh, don't pity me. I've escaped. I've learned a lot, too. The real worth of men. Your father, Bill Craig, kissing his wife. They're alive, Lorna. And by Jove, so am I. This morning, I saw Stella Raff for the first time as she really is. Now I realize I've never loved her at all. I think Bill did, though. Who, Bill? Sad, Lorna? No. You've got tears in your eyes. I have not. Never mind. I'll have a talk to Bill. That lad has got to realize his responsibilities. He can't go through life leaving a trail of broken hearts behind him. Hanged if he can. Bill saved my life and all that, but... You mean it wasn't Bill? Traffic jam or the Pacific Ocean? Listen, Quid. I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm going to marry Lorna. Well, you could knock me down with a feather. Here, Lorna. Here's a little bit of a dowry for you. Oh. <laughs> There's no doubt about it, though. You really are a doer. <laughs>